Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to sew the easiest kimono cardigan from a scarf. It's been so long since I've done a sewing tutorial, especially something that's not related to home decor, so I thought I would do one with you today because this one is so easy. It creates the cutest kimono cardigan and it literally is only one hem and two seams. If you're a beginning sewer, you can do this. It took me only about 20 minutes to do. If you're a beginner, it might take you an hour. However, either way, this project is so quick and so easy and I love this kimono cardigan because it's the perfect piece to transition from summer to fall. If you're new to my channel, I post DIY and decor ideas on a budget and I am so, so close to 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I can't believe it. So if you're not subscribed and you like that kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button and let's get this channel to 100,000 subscribers so we can celebrate and I can continue to create more content for you guys. All right, let me show you how to sew this adorable and really easy kimono cardigan from a scarf. You're going to need a large, lightweight, rectangular scarf. For your reference, mine is about 33 inches wide by 66 inches long, but lots of different sizes can work as long as it wraps around your body. And then you need to fold the scarf in half. I find it best if your scarf is about twice as long as it is wide. That makes kind of the nicest shape of kimono cardigan. So mine's pretty old. I found it at Michael's quite a while ago, a few years ago. So this is a great way to repurpose an older scarf. Then you just fold it in half and then fold it in half again like this. So in half horizontally and then in half vertically. And just make sure all your edges line up nicely. Then take a pair of sharp fabric shears and just cut one of the layers of your scarf like this on the fold that you've made. Just be really, really careful that you don't cut both of your layers by accident. I have done this before and had to do a bit of mending. So just be very careful to cut just one of the layers of your scarf. So you're going to cut it right up to the top corner fold just like this. And when you open up your scarf, you're just going to have a cut down the center front just like this. And then take a measuring tape and measure about 10 inches from the top of your scarf on the corner and make a mark. And then measure 3 inches from the side and make a mark. And then draw a line 3 inches from the side of your scarf down about 6 inches to create a little seam for your arms. I like to put a pin at the top and a pin at the bottom of this marking just so I know when to start and to stop sewing. And then you're going to repeat this on the other side of your folded scarf. So again, make sure everything is nicely lined up. And then measure about 10 inches from the top corner of your scarf, make a mark. Measure about 3 inches from the side edge of your scarf and make a mark and then create a line that's about six inches long down from that point. And you can use stick pens to mark the top and the bottom of your line. So for your reference, here is a diagram of what you're going to be doing to your scarf. So you can see the top fold, and then you can see on the side where I'm putting those little arm seams. So first you're going to just sew those little arm seams. So, so start at the pin that you've marked on the top and then just sew along the pencil line that you've made with your sewing machine. Make sure to back stitch at the top and the bottom of the seam so that these little arm seams are really secure. So do that for both sides of your cardigan, both arm seams. And then for that cut that you made for the front center and the neck, you're just gonna roll that raw edge over once and then over again and sew. So you're creating just a very small little rolled hem. There are sewing machine feet that can do this automatically for you, but I know not everybody has those, so I'm just doing it manually here to show you how I do it with my sewing machine, just with a regular presser foot. So I'm just really carefully rolling my raw edge over and then rolling it over again. And then just make sure to stitch really close to the inside rolled edge so that you're catching all the layers of your fabric. This creates a nice finished seam all the way around to the front and the neckline of your kimono cardigan. You could do this by hand if you wanted to, but I find that a sewing machine just creates a nice even stitch. So once you get to that top of the neckline, you're going to have that little corner. And what I do is I just pull it tight and I just keep doing my little rolled hem. 
So I'm just pulling that corner really tightly. I'm just rolling the fabric like I'm doing with the rest of the front of my kimono cardigan and just kind of continuing along. And that's going to create a little curved edge at the top back neck of your kimono cardigan. Then just continue this rolled edge all the way around, back stitch at the bottom, and you're all done. Your really easy kimono cardigan. So here's what it looks like. And here's what it looks like on. So those little arm seams just kind of help keep everything together. I like how it drapes around my neck. And I think this is the perfect layer for my tank tops and my jeans going from the summer to the fall. As you can see, it was literally only two seams and one hem all the way around the front and the neck. So a really great sewing project and a great way to upcycle some scarves. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you would attempt to sew this really easy kimono cardigan and what you think of it. I'd also like to hear if you'd like me to make more sewing tutorials going into the fall. I love sewing and now that the kids are going back to school, I will have a little bit more time to do more in-depth tutorials like sewing tutorials. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.